This lesson, we'll be going over G81. It's our drilling cycle. Uh, it's a can cycle. It's modal, meaning uh, every XY location after you call up a G81, it will drill a hole. Uh, you can cancel this command with a G80. Um, it's G81 is uh, good for spot drilling. Uh, it's good for speed, like as in for like cycle time. If you're doing shallow holes, you don't need to peck drill. You can do a G81, which is your single depth of drill. Um, yeah. So this is what a, a G81 would look like. You got your X, your Y, your Z, your R, and your F. The uh, X and your Y, that is your hole location. Your Z, that's going to be the depth of the hole. Uh, your R, that's your R plane. Uh, so for a quick lesson on the R plane here. Uh, we're going to act like this bottom line here, that's our material. This right here is the hole that we are drilling. And uh, when you call up a G81, you have an R plane, and the R plane is represented with this, uh, with this dotted line. So what's going to happen is we're going to, let's say we plug in like a hundred thou for our R plane. Uh, your tool, this marker is going to be in our drill. It's going to wrap it down to the R plane, and then it's actually going to start drilling. And then when it's not drilling, it's going to wrap back up to this R plane. Uh, and then you have your F, which is your feed rate. So uh, just uh, plug in some quick numbers here. Uh, say the hole is going to be at an X of uh, 1 and a Y of 4. Or Z. Uh, remember, uh, when you're using the G81, you're not doing deep holes, so your hole is most likely going to be shallow. So we'll just go like it's going to be. Say 300 thou deep, it's a shallow hole. And then our R plane 0.1, and we'll move at a feed rate 5 inches per minute. Alright, so uh, we have the simple blueprint right here. Uh, it's just a, like a square, and we're going to be drilling a hole into it. Uh, the hole in the X is 1.5 inches over, and Y it's 1 inch up, and our zero is right, right here in the bottom left corner. Here's the program for it. And uh, so we start out with the percent sign, letting the machine know where the program is beginning. Program name, uh, M06, T05, that's calling the tool change to go to tool 5. Uh, we have G00, which is your rapid movement. Your G90, which is absolute dimensioning. G54, which is our work coordinate system we'll be using. And we'll be rapiding to uh, X0 and a Y0. Uh, and then we have N03, which is turning on your spindle, and we'll be using a spindle speed of 1,000. Uh, G43, which is our tool height compensation, letting the machine know how uh, where our tool is in the, in the Z. And our H value is 5. Uh, this H value must match your tool value, so H05, T05. And then we have G81, which is our uh, can cycle for drilling. Uh, we'll be moving over to an X, a 1.5, and a Y1. And uh, we'll be doing going a half inch deep into the material. Uh, our R plane is 0.1, 100 thou above the part. Uh, then we'll be moving at a feed rate of 8 inches per minute. Uh, then we'll be doing G00, Z of 1 inch. This, uh, this block of code right here isn't necessary, but I just like to do it uh, for safety reasons, just to make sure the drill is actually above the part before the machine moves. And then doing a G80, which is canceling. The G81, the can cycle, and M02, which is ending the program. All right, let's go out to the shop and make some chips. All right, so uh, we're out here on a Haas CNC mill. We're going to be uh, milling, I mean, excuse me, drilling down into this. Uh, Piece of aluminum. Uh, Z0 is the top of the part. I made the G54 work offset uh, right here in the corner. So I did my Y off of this and my X off of this. Uh, let's watch it run.
And here we have it, quite simple.